Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the volume of any prism. Uh, so, this is high school geometry, and uh, possibly in middle school or elementary school uh, or preschool, um, you learn that the formula for the volume is length times width times height, uh, but that doesn't work for all prisms. Uh, that only works for rectangular prisms. Uh, but let's look at this prism. Uh, it's a triangular prism. Uh, we know it's a triangular prism because the two bases that are congruent and parallel to each other are triangles. Uh, so we can't use length times width times height. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a formula that works for all prisms. Uh, so it is V is equal to base area times the distance between the two bases. Okay, so uh, let's put this in our notebooks. Let's make a power card on it. So volume of any prism is base area times the distance between the two bases. Okay, uh, so this will work for any prism. Um, so the, so now we're trying to find the volume. So remember, volume is different from area. Area is how many squares you can fit on the surface. Uh, volume is how many cubes you can fit inside. So if we stuff this triangular prism with cubes, uh, we want to figure out how many cubes would fit inside. So uh, we're going to use this formula right here that you should have written in your notebooks and highlighted and made a power card on it uh, so you could memorize this for the rest of your life. Uh, so volume of prism. So let's first find the base area. So let's look at what we have here. We have a lot of numbers here. Um, we may not even need all of them. Uh, so the base is are these two triangles right here. These are our two bases. Uh, that's a 90 degrees. So we know that this is 90 degrees right here. So we have a right triangle. And we know that uh, the length and the width or the base and the height for a triangle are always perpendicular. So let's find the, the area of this base right here, which, which is a triangle, base times height, divided by 2 for a triangle is 3 times 4 divided by 2, uh, which is 12 divided by 2, which is 6. Okay, so that's our base area. And we want to multiply that by the distance between the two bases, which is 7. So just think about what we just did here. Uh, we figured out uh, the base area. Okay, so this tells us uh, how many squares fit on this one base, or if you think about it, how many uh, cubes fit on this one layer. Okay, and we think about this, there's seven layers of cubes. So that's what we're doing right here. We have six cubes um, that fit on this one base, but there's seven layers. So uh, we're going to multiply that by seven. Six times seven is 42. So that's 42 centimeters. And is it squared? No, because we're figuring out how many cubes fit inside. So it's centimeters cubed. That's how you find the volume of any prism. Uh, just remember, it's the base area. Make sure that you identify the correct base, the two that are congruent and parallel to each other and how far the two are the distance between that tells us how many layers of cubes fit inside so there it is i uh, hope that helps and great job